the ASEAN internet economy is projected to be worth some 300 billion US dollars come 2025. On the local capital market front, Bursa Malaysia supports the government's efforts in encouraging digitalization in the business sector and continuously stresses the growing importance for public sector companies to be digitally enabled in order to remain competitive and investable. And this is done, uh, among others, via the Digital Guidebook 4, uh, entitled Being Digitally Enabled, under our PLC Transformation Programme, which was released in December 2022. On the 31st of March, uh, the coverage of populated areas reached 57.8% and by the 31st of May uh, we reached 62.1% of populated areas. This, is, this indicates that uh, the rollout is continuing expeditiously. The MNOs have committed to uh, a no worse off uh, rate for the uh, wholesale price of 5G. What the industry will come in collectively holding a majority uh, in, in DNB and with that majority really in a position to effectively drive forward uh, in terms of the management and how it then progresses. Those that are ready right, uh, would really have to really take that leap in terms of investing into that digital space. Malaysia certainly does have that land availability and that opportunity to, to sort of seize the day when it comes to renewables. So that's sort of um, the unique. When you look at operational cost enablement, the result of cloud is quite interesting. Like for example, we had um, we had uh, enabled uh, AI use case from drones uh, and looking at tower maintenance. Uh, drones uh, and the images are actually processed through the cloud-based technology of AI. Improve the maintenance cycle itself, right? So the turnaround is actually overall cost improvement itself. Is, has the market seen the bottom of it? My personal view is yes. It's very clear that the government policy decision has been made and the process of transition uh, led by the National uh, 5G Task Force with uh, Dato' Johan and Dato' Mama Fauzi are well into progress per the announcement yesterday. So we look forward to a landing at the end of June towards the equity agreement as well as the access agreement for DMB as we see it today. Earlier this year, Airtrunk has announced its entry into Malaysia with plans to develop 150 plus megawatt data center as it continues to develop critical digital infrastructure to support accelerating digitalization in the region. And that concludes Invest Malaysia 2023 Series 2 on reshaping Malaysia's narrative. Stay tuned for the next installment of Invest Malaysia.